These scenes are insane! Woo! This is a bit creepy. Today we are driving the High Van Pass in Vietnam on this Airblade motorbike. Like they did on Top Gear, I'll be driving from the beautiful town of Hoi An to the ancient capital of Vietnam, also known as Hue. We are also going to try and sneak into a little abandoned theme park. Hopefully we get in. If you want to do the High Van Pass on a motorbike like me, I'll be explaining how you can do it too later on the video. I'll leave a timestamp here. First, we need to try and find some petrol because they gave me this thing empty. Come on. Uh, full. Where are you going? Uh, Hue. Going to Hue. High Van Pass. Is it good? Yeah. Like they did on Top Gear. Just to my right is the beach we went to yesterday if you watched the last video. Go watch it. It's good. Pretty sure we're in the city of Da Nang. I think this is like the third or the fourth largest city in all of Vietnam. And look at the beach. We've got a beach. Oh, that looks stunning. Can you park here? You can? Thank you. Yeah. Parked up next to this beautiful beach. It's like pretty much white white sand it looks incredible and i might get a coffee as well this place looks beautiful look at it what's the best one what should i get you want coffee coffee yeah coffee coconut coffee is delicious yeah i'll have a coconut coffee then let's do that thank you i'm on the beach with shoes on which feels very very strange i'll be honest i don't like this i really don't like it i want to be barefoot but i've got this coconut coffee recommendation we've got some skyscrapers here because we're in da nang which is yeah the, a big city here in vietnam so try this coconut coffee oh that's good that's tasty i'll be honest this beach is beautiful it's better than the one in hoi an like this is stunning it actually kind of reminds me of the gold coast because of these big skyscrapers behind us um, and then like a beautiful beach and it's surfing as well so like this is like gold coast australia vibes i love it whoa i think i've seen the mountains we're going to be going over today these are crazy this looks like a big old bridge there's the high van pass just there that is a lot bigger look it's literally covered in the clouds So in the distance, that is the High Van Pass. You can't even see the top of these mountains. That's crazy. Hello, give me a beep. Give me a beep. Yeah. It suddenly got a lot colder. I think there's cold wind coming off these mountains because it's just a sudden drop in temperature. It's really weird. We are beginning to go uphill, so I haven't seen a signpost or anything, but I assume we've started the high van path. The road surface is really good as well, so far. Let's not speak too soon. Literally five minutes in and I just can't stop. This is insane. Look down at this beach. It looks so remote. I'm not, oh, there is a little road you can get down, but this is it. We're going to be going right up to these mountains. And I think over, you see this little bit? Through this little hole but already. This is like a massive bay. So back there is Da Nang. I don't know why this big truck's coming here because there's a big fast highway, which takes like 30 minutes, not this like long route over the mountains. But maybe they just want a good view on their truck ride. I don't like being behind these tracks. It's not nice. It's getting pretty cold now. I think I need to go put my hoodie on. It's freezing. That looks like there was a bit of a landslide here and they put some like barriers up. That's crazy. Hello? 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 Yay! Yeah, let me. And me. Yeah. 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 Vietnam? Vietnam? Vietnam. Vietnam. Yo, yo. Okay, 
Yeah? Is it a good spot? Okay. Okay. I'm just sitting down taking in these views because it is insane. I got a Sprite, 20,000. Dong. Okay, let's go down the high van pass now. We've come up, we're at the top, and it's time to head back down from the other side towards UA. There doesn't seem to be as many people on this part of the pass. I don't know why, but there's not. The high van pass is awesome. You have to do it. Yeah. Google Translate. Cơm, trứng, thịt, cá. Quay thường có ra không? À, cơm cá. À, cơm cá, thịt, trứng. Cơm cá, thịt, trứng. <laughs> okay, um, let's have this. <laughs> How much? Bao nhiêu? Okay. Ừ. <laughs> right, so we're getting rice, fish, eggs, chicken. Let's see what we get with rice. So let's give it a go. You know, why not? Support this lady, 50,000. It's not too bad, is it? Here we go. We've got some food. This looks interesting. Looks like a few good little bits. This is actually really tasty. There's like really nice chili and flavor in there. And the fish is really good. It's just like, there's a bit of fillet, like just fish fillet. No, it's really tasty. I mean, the sea is just there, so probably been caught very recently. Back on the road with a full tummy. This is like the massive bridge which cuts through the mountain. So if you want to go the fast route, it's only like 30 minutes through the mountain. The crazy thing about the high van pass is it's actually not that long. I think it's like, maybe an hour ride. It's not like, you know, if you're doing the Hajian loop up north, it's not like a massive um, loop or anything. It's just an hour and then you've got to drive on the highway, I think, for like an hour and a half to Hue. So yeah, just something to know for your expectation. It's not like four hours along the most incredible coastal ride. It's about an hour of incredible views and then, yeah, that's, that's about it. So of the high van pass, that is it, but I want to go to this abandoned theme park, which is just outside of Hue. It's about an hour and a half drive. So I'm going to get on the bike. I'm just going to full speed ahead, just get there. And then we'll see you hopefully outside it. Let's go. Can you see that bite on my arm? It's like blood. What is that? That was horrible. It was like stuck up my sleeve and just stinging me continuously. I'm assuming it was a wasp or something. Oh. So I am on the outskirts of Hue and I'm going to try and head to this abandoned theme park or water park now. Um, it's only about 15 minutes, I think. We are literally a few minutes away. I don't know how we're going to get in here, but yeah, let's go have a look. Pretty sure I'm inside this abandoned theme park now. It does kind of look like one a little bit, but there's so many people. It doesn't feel too abandoned. Look at that. That's the famous, that's the famous bit you've seen on Instagram. The dragon. This is crazy. There's even a someone selling drinks here. I thought you had to bribe someone or you know pay some money to get in, but it doesn't look like it now. It looks like a tourist attraction. Wow, look at that, the dragon. This does feel like a theme park. I actually think it's a water park, not a theme park, but yeah. Very graffiti up. Look at all the graffiti everywhere. Whoa, whoa, feels a bit sketchy. Yeah, so I think this was like a little aquarium area. 
you can hear the glass. Yeah, that's glass. This is a bit creepy. I think there's a couple of other spots in this water park, so let's go check them out. Let's drive around this path then and try and see what else we can find. Let's go through here. I don't know what we're gonna find, but you never know unless you go. Whoa, duck, ducking. Let's go have a look. I think there's something. Oh, I think we've got water slides. I wouldn't want to go in that water. I mean, to be fair, it's been done really cool. Like, I'm guessing they've planted all these palm trees. It feels really aesthetic. Oh my God. What was that? These slides look quite cool. Feels like we're in the jungle. It is quite warm, like I've got my hoodie on, but yeah, maybe I shouldn't go on that. That was a little wobbly. I tell you what, I wouldn't want to go up there. Hello? That sounds so weird. This sounds so weird. Hello? Hello? <whistles> go up to Joel, friend. Please go down. Click that button, because this is good content. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa. This is cool, maybe we can get up. Although, we're not gonna be too stupid if it's a bit dangerous. This feels creepy. Guys, this is creepy. Moving on then, we are heading towards this like stadium area where it used to be like, apparently there's a capacity of 2,500 because I had a look on Google at like this amusement park and it was abandoned in 2004. Let's go check out this stadium. I'm just chilling at the top of this amphitheatre, just taking it in. It's quite a nice light, golden light. Won't stay here for sunset, but it's pretty cool. I'm gonna jump back on the bike and head into Huey now because I wanna drop off the bike, get everything sorted, get into my hotel and relax because honestly, a lot of driving, a lot of busy, t busy stuff today. When I get back to the hotel, I'll tell you everything you need if you wanna do this high van pass because it's awesome, like definitely recommend it. And it's also a cool way to get from Hoi An to Huey or Huey to Hoi An. This is a cool little bridge. Say goodbye to the dragon over there. Bye to the theme park. This is a cool place. Let's go. Let's go back to the hotel. Well, to a new hotel. <laughs> We're here in the hotel. Yeah. Let's talk about how you can do the high van pass too, because there's a few different options. The first option is that you can actually take like a tour bus and go to like the spots on the bus and you basically stop off. Obviously not as exciting. The second way, you can do exactly what I did and just drive yourself or with a friend or with friends and yeah, stop off whenever you want. The third way is you can actually get an easy rider, which is basically where you jump on the back of a motorbike and a Vietnamese will drive you all at the spots, 
all to the different spots and you can stop off whenever you want which is kind of ideal if you're you know you're not you don't want to drive a motorbike because obviously if you're not got experience you shouldn't do it. I actually booked it with a travel agency in Hoi An and it was really good actually they booked everything for me and it's gone really smoothly um, but you can actually book it online and I'll leave a link in the description I think it's get your guide and so you know if you want to go with a reputable company because you know it's it's, it's very safe, the roads are really good, but you know, if anything goes wrong, then you're with a big rep tool company. So that's just something you can do. But yeah, highly, highly recommend it. It was so much fun. It take the whole day, but you know, you got time to stop. Um, I got in about 5 p.m., but I also went to the water park, obviously. So that's kind of shows there's plenty of time. Please, if you haven't subscribed, do it right now. Just two seconds, please, because I've got so much more Vietnam videos coming for you. I'm so excited. Also, the Hajian Loop. That's going to be epic. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.